Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Why should you buy a case and a tempered glass for your smartphone? Well, whether it's an Apple phone or an Android, well, especially if you got one of those Android phones that are like, you know, built like these things, like all glass everywhere kind of thing, you really want to protect your investment. That's the big thing here. You really want to protect that investment. Everybody keeps their phones for a certain amount of time. Fanatics, well, every time there's a new iPhone, they get it, yay! And they sell their own one and get top dollar. Okay, but <laughs> you're not getting top dollar if there's any kind of damage whatsoever on your phone, okay? You are drastically gonna take a big bath and you can expect it because, hey, nobody wants your busted junk at a high price, okay? They want your pristine junk at a reasonable price too, right? But the thing is, is you get a higher resale value for a few things. One, age of phone is a big thing, okay? The older it is, the lesser it's worth. The newer it is, the more it's worth. But condition is the major thing here. It can make or break your sale for you for value. If you have a damaged front glass but everything else is fine, well, that's gonna cost some money to replace that glass and people are gonna to wanna to replace it. But that's up to them if they really want you bad enough. I still want top dollar. You don't deserve it. Plain and simple, okay? You don't. You were abusive to your phone. You don't deserve it, okay? Same as the back. I've seen, I've seen shattered backs, shattered fronts, but the sides at least were so good somehow. We don't know how, but they still want big money. And it's like, are you kidding me? I mean, what kind of... Yeah, share with the rest of the world the drugs you're on because I don't know and they still want top dollar even for an iPhone and it's like no it's not worth that kind of money it's going to cost too much to fix it and it's too dangerous in the hands of children with with all that shattered glass and it will flake off it'll get in somebody's eyeballs they're going to the ER hmm okay so even if you buy a cheap case now I'm not pushing the brand I have it's ESR it is a MagSafe case, which is nice too, because I have a magnetic cell phone holder in my car, and this ring is like, and it's there, okay? It's the only way it's going to stick. You have to have either a stick-on steel ring, or you're going to have to have a MagSafe case like this, and the magnet sticks, and away you go. And also, it's a thin case, okay, as you can tell. And I get to see my gold trim. I get to see my gold back on here too. I did go one extra step. I did take it to a third level, which I think three levels of protection is, is good. And that's, I went with a glass protector for my cameras so that, you know, cause I do have a dropsy issue, okay? And I, I have no problem admitting to that. At least my iPad, I don't, but for some reason with my phones, I do, okay? They've hit the floor. They've hit the friggin' gravel driveway. I live in the country. <laughs> Go figure, okay? But even a non travel driveway, you can still bust your phone up if you drop it on the asphalt, okay? So think of it that way. Um, screens aren't cheap to replace. Backs are even more expensive to replace than a screen is because there's so much more involved in, in, in that kind of a repair, etc. okay? But it's also, you know, if you get too much damage, you could also do damage to the electronics inside which can really make things worse because now it's worthless, okay? So, and I hear and see all kinds of stories on Marketplace, whether it's an iPad with a busted screen. Oh, it's okay. It's an eighth generation iPad. I want $150 for it, but you're going to need a new glass for it because it is kind of broken in a lot of areas. Uh, yeah, it's also missing glass and I can see the electronics. Dude, that thing is worth 20 bucks. 20 bucks. I don't care if it's an iFriggin' Pad 8. It's too much damage, and it's going to cost a lot of money to fix that. And that's the problem with the newer iPads. Holy cow, the screen cost replacement? Holy cow. It's worse than any iPhone out there, okay? So, think first before buying somebody's busted junk. It's going to cost you money to fix. Anyways, why is this? Okay. But, I went with the ESR because it was an inexpensive case. It was thin. It also allowed me to see my phone pretty colors that I bought because I got the gold edition. Um, and of course, you know, it's got reinforced bumper corners on it. 
it's thicker on the sides, you know, so, and it's also flexible, so it takes the impacts better than a lot of the other cases I've had in the past. And I've had cases from the dollar store, I've had cases from Amazon, I've had glass from the dollar store, which r reminds me to mention this too. Don't be afraid to buy glass for a buck and a half at the dollar store or two bucks, whatever it's gonna cost you. It's gonna be under $5. Those glasses are perfectly fine, okay? And don't believe the BS about, oh, it's bubble-free glass on the Amazon ads. It is not bubble-free. You're going to get bubbles in there as you apply it, unless you're a genius and get it right in the first instantaneous shot, which you don't even need bubble-free glass for, because even the non-bubble-free glass can go on absolutely perfect the first application and no having to work it in and work the bubbles out later, okay? But if you don't get it perfect, well, hey... It's on you. You're going to be working for an hour or two getting all those bubbles out. Because if you don't get the bubbles out, I'm going to tell you right now, you've just compromised your phone. It's not going to help because if it takes a hit in that area where it's got the bubble, <laughs> bye bye screen, you're going to damage your screen. Okay, so get the bubbles out. Take the time. Read the instructions. Apply it properly. Do the very best you can and get those bubbles out of that thing. Okay. It does take some work. Ask my wife. She does our phones whenever they need to be done. Hers, usually once she's done, she never drops her phone. That's her. Me, I have a dropsy issue. I usually go through at least three, probably four tempered glasses within the amount of time I keep a phone for. Um, and I've never once damaged any part of my screen whatsoever. I've never even damaged a glass back. My last phone was an iPhone 12 mini and I had an ESR case on it as well. I've had other cases on it as well, just because I like to trade things up once in a while too. Now, you, when you use a case that covers that pretty blue, it's kind of like, well, back to the ESR. Okay, so um, now the lens protector thing, that's something new I tried on the 12 mini and I really liked it. It really works too. And I never did do any damage even without these things to my camera lenses. I've always been lucky that way, but I figured, hey, there's something new for a product to try. Let's see how well it works. And they work perfect. They're great. And besides which, you get fingerprints on your lenses and you got to clean each lens individually, right? This covers the whole thing. Take your shirt, take a cloth and just, you know, go over the whole flat surface and boom, they're all three clean at once and no more fingerprints or smudges and you get a perfect picture, perfect video. You're good. It's all great. So you want the top resale value? Protect your investment. You want to not have to spend money on maintenance for replacing screens or maybe side frames, well, frames, or the backs. Protect your investment. It's pretty inexpensive to do. And like I said, you don't have to buy a $40 glass because it's no better than having a $2 glass or a $5 glass, okay? The most I've paid is $20, but for a three-pack, okay, on Amazon, okay? So, and you can pick the style you want. This has no notch cut into it. Right, so you just get the little slit for your earpiece and speaker because it does both, right? And it's full coverage, it's great. My iPad, I have the little notch cut out for the camera, but I'm very careful with my iPads, and um, so I never have to worry about my iPads regardless. But I still protect the screens, anyways. I still bought an ESR case for it because I want a thin profile case because I have an eye clip and I can't use it with a bulky case, it doesn't work. So, thin, sexy case it is. And of course, it's all transparent, so I get to see the color of my iPad as well. So that's what I got for you guys on this, pretty much. So if you have any questions, you know, will they go down below in the comments? Or if you have any comments, hey, feel free to leave those too. Um, and let us know how you, you make out with this sort of stuff. And do you buy the cheap glass or the more expensive glass? Do you buy the cheap cases or more expensive cases? How's your progress in life been with, you know, the drop season stuff? Um, but anyways, other than that, that's pretty much what I wanted to make a point across to why you should do this because it is going to also help when you do resell your phone. You're going to get more money if it's in perfect condition than one that's all scratched up, busted up kind of thing. So anyways, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching and we'll check you out in the next video. See ya!